Alright YouTube, this is Mr. Donut Will 13 back again with another MET 13 video. You can see I just bought Jarrell Freeman for 125,000 coins. Bummer to buy him for that because he's definitely not worth that at all. Like, I, I mean that's a really crazy price for him. So, I did end up buying a Bobby Wagner for like... 50k or 45k so you can already tell i overspent on this collection i pulled an aj hawk which is exciting and denario williams a buddy hooked me up and that was very nice of him so i just really was happy to finish this collection to be honest i'm really started i was really starting to feel ghost ray lewis's flaws and speed and etc i know i got speed boost but Lewis just did not cut it anymore and it was getting to the point where I was going nuts. I had this collection up to these four cards for the longest time. I just, I, I didn't really want to collect AJ. I had AJ Hawk for a long time too. I just didn't want to collect him without showing you guys. So, he's a pretty rare one if you guys pull him. So, I had Mason Foster collected for some reason when I started this collection. I guess I might have collected him because I had pulled a bunch when this was actually, you know, first out. So, Denario Williams is the big one to get. Now he's like 300k. Actually, Mason Foster, he, but you never even see him on auction. But for me, it was Denario Williams. So, anyway, I'm just so, so happy that I'm done with that collection. That was, ugh. Whatever. Anyway, this does officially complete my team, which means you will see the golden ticket. Oh, how do I put this? The golden ticket lineup video team of the week submission uh, out within probably the next video. So there's Derek Johnson. He's, he's between the boosts I have. He's a 99 everything except block sheds, so. Yeah, I'm really excited to have this card. <laughs> I really am happy to finally have him uh, replacing Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis played on my team for the longest time, and, you know, he just doesn't cut it anymore. He can't play late with the other guys anymore, which is sad, but it's true. So, I am going to pull the packs for you guys make this a little bit longer you saw I just pulled another key Warren Moon when I say another that's a I have a few now so hopefully he's worth a little bit in that next quarterback collection obviously I have no room for my on my I have no room on my active cards at all so and that's just because I've got so many cards uh, that need to be active with having two lineups. So, and I know Vic goes for like 3K or 4K, but I'm honestly not worried about it. Not while being at 6 mil. Wow, that's another 99 tight end. I'm just so happy that I got that collection done. It's the last positional collection. I needed to get done, guys. I now have every single positional collection done, which is really nice. So. My reward packs usually don't do very well for me. I just don't see. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I just don't feel like I pull very good cards in these packs, so. I mean, I got some nice golds, like Arian Foster, Adrian Peterson, the last two, but those are a little boosted because of the halfback collection, so. Oh, there's Troy Aikman. Whoa, oh, flashback Manning. Oh my goodness, what was I just saying? I don't know. I'm stupid. I'm. Oh, I just.
jinxed what I just said. Oh my goodness. Those two cards alone pay back so much. That's so awesome. Um, if you guys don't know, Flashback Manning is worth a ton now because of the quarterback collection. So, yeah. And there's Troy Aikman, 99. Uh, the 99s went way up in price, guys. Um, I just, I'm baffled. <laughs> wow. I just made a good 300k off those last three cards. Uh, depending, I mean, I don't know how much, I haven't really checked the prices of each of those today, but last I checked, you know, Aikman was going, both Aikmans were going for quite a bit, and that Manning is absolutely expensive now. One of the most expensive expensive ones. And this last pack was junk. But still huge pulls. I'll go to my trade block and show you guys. Got a few other cards on there, but that's just cards I'm moving to different accounts. But just avoiding those. Uh, these three quarterbacks alone... If they're the same prices as yesterday, they should be about 300k in the making. So, thanks YouTube for watching and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. And I will have some good upcoming videos coming out soon, guys. Until next time, peace out.